Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Reincarnated Slime, episode 16. And the only thing I'd like to say is if you have somehow not subscribed to the channel yet uh, for Slime or for any of the other shows I, I do, uh, I do ReZero, I've done Overlord, I've done a bunch of Isekais and a bunch of other shows uh, currently. Definitely subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. I'd much appreciate it. You can also check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash AJRich123 if you'd like to see these episodes early and uncut uh, up to a week ahead. Definitely check that out, and let's go ahead and start. So many alliances now. <laughs> it's like old school RPG. Oh, if it was an old school RPG, you'd get like a cool sword or something stupid like an apple. Uh, I wondered what happened to that guy. So he's pawning him off to you. What if they don't want him? <laughs> it's mutual benefits. That's why you form an alliance. Uh, he's come a long way going from an asshole to somebody that'll actually help you doesn't always happen and they've worked together so maybe it a little bit easy you know it'll be easy to transition and we know rimaru pretty much accepts everybody really we're giving him a round of applause <laughs> Why haven't they given Rimuru a round of applause? I knew he was going to show up here. It seemed the most uh, obvious decision for him. At least you'll have more comedy. <laughs> okay. It's always interesting to see how people evolve in this. I think that's some of the most fun stuff I've seen in this show is the evolving. I like it. You don't... What the... Renamed? What the hell? <laughs> His loyalty skill is probably 10 billion. That's so strange though. Lizardmen, their evolved forms, dragon root. Maybe it's not actually a dragon, but it seems strange to upgrade to that. Shit. Whoa, oh, what, 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 what? Okay, that took a second for me to register. The lizardmen turn into humans? This seems more like somebody's like fanfic or something. Like they turned into, they, they evolve into, how does that work? Um, is, or, or is it just Rimuru wanted this? That's what it is. Maybe in like the evolving here, evolves more into rimuru I, I was thinking about this when we saw how Shion turned and how some people have evolved maybe it's rim what rimuru wants subconsciously wouldn't that be crazy and that's what he wanted from her and thought about personality oh yeah that looks like her and then that's how she ended up and i'm not complaining <laughs> So that's the, the dragon part. Got some wings. Maybe he can breathe fire too. Their area is so expanded now. And they're just going to have to continue to grow. At least he's not harassing people in bars and strip clubs anymore. Oh god, it's a lolly. Wait, she's going right to the Oh god damn! That's like magical girl power right there. That's what she's reminding me of. It's a fucking magical girl. That's all they were missing. What an entrance. Dragon. God damn. 
So, oh, okay. So it was like a meeting of demon lords there. Oh God, she's one of, she's one of those people. Poke, poke, I need to keep touching. You can't, can't hide your power level, so to speak. Why is that always pointed out in anime? <laughs> From the, the people he's evolved and what he's around, he, he likes the big boobs. She needs, she just needs a staff and she'd be a perfect magical girl. <laughs> oh, um. Because she's a demon lord, of course, they're going to see her as a threat. The way she acts, I, I, I feel like she's a lot stronger than she's coming off here. The way she's laughing about everything, yeah, she's definitely tough. So these demon lords are on a whole nother level compared to what Rimuru's faced. Holy shit. <laughs> I just love how it's just infinite potions. I feel like she's probably somebody that played with her toys too much and broke them all. You can literally taste him. You could try to eat the slime. Uh, what do you do then? He's always been in, at in an advantage. Ooh, what did he just put it in her mouth there? Was it? So he was just trying to throw her some food. Yeah. You can persuade her for sweets. Why does that make so much sense? So. <laughs> <laughs> How is it this easy? Can you believe her though? She shows her age here for sure. Though demon lords, how old are demon lords? I would assume some of them could be younger. Though, as we've noticed, appearances are a little weird in this show because we've seen some people be older than they uh, look younger than they actually are. And uh, Demon Lords, I, I would think, like, could be a different age than they look. Like, once they become a Demon Lord, would they stop aging? I, I, I don't know why that would make sense. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Why do you need to be a demon lord when you're just badass without it? You can just eat everything. But they are already doing that for Rimuru. Uh, Shion's boobs. Um, ultra strong ogres. Sounds like it. <laughs> she just needs something to do. He's not gum. <laughs> Such a kid. How can you take her seriously, though? It seems impossible, even with the talent. That just seems so easy. They're gonna not get along. Because Gabby Roo gets along with no one. <laughs> He's that guy. God damn, did she change fast. <laughs> oh, 
She was acting so different with Rimuru. Yeah, I gotta control those emotions. Hopefully, maybe these people around her can mature her a little bit. <laughs> there's peace and then there's attacking. Peace and attacking. Seems like a, uh, a normal trend. Well, oh, okay. Really can learn then. Thought she was just visiting. You know what's really crazy? And I maybe I'm overthinking this, but with this many groups of people and coming from every side of this world here, and they're so used to either their own kind or their own group of people, I'm surprised how well it works, uh, like how well everyone gets along. You would expect people to argue all the time, but maybe it's because everyone that Rimuru names or puts into this community, they're automatic. I don't know. I feel like there's got to be some type of outside thing, like because of the naming or something that makes them loyal to him. So that's why they don't fight because I, I just, I would, I would expect like, Fights on the daily with how many just different types of people there are. Um. Already? Oh, you gotta say best friend. <laughs> there, you can make her your unofficial daughter. There you go. You're best friends, but she definitely feels more like, more like a daughter for him. Oh, that's sweet. Of course. You have to have a hot spring. That reminds me, I need coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's new to their community. And can you... I hate mistrusting people, but she is a demon lord. She seems innocent enough, though. That, too. Yeah, that's another thing. They're, they could check up on her, and the way they're talking about how the demon lords, we saw them in a meeting, it could be a bad thing for her to be there because that means you could have demon lords randomly showing up and not every single one of them are going to be like her and we have already seen one of them being pretty uh you know using his minions to do things behind the scenes so it could it could put them in a bad position I don't think you can argue with her. They're gonna be in a whole lot of shit. <laughs> can we get rid of that title? <laughs> but you befriended her so easily. That's... Rimuru has natural like ability too. I think that's what helps him, even with being able to get so many abilities. Oh, God. we have to have just a little fan service at the end of every episode now. It makes me think, this end of this episode uh, makes me think that... I thought of it as kind of a good thing because it's beneficial to her to be able to learn um, and maybe, you know, become a little nicer, get used to uh, different people and stuff. But I think the major issue is there are other demon lords. We know one of them is pretty dastardly evil and doing things behind the scenes. He has other minions, other people uh, to send. And that does make me a little worried especially the way they're talking about that they check up on each other and stuff. And we saw that meeting beforehand. Um, 
and I've also maybe this is just from other shows and stuff I have a hard time just she seems innocent enough but it's hard to trust sometimes and Rimuru's been so trusting I I don't know why but I just feel like that can bite you in your ass like so easily you can really get screwed over by it I really hope it doesn't go that way but it's you have to kind of keep that possibility where like things can only go so good we've already seen some bad things happen we it's not like this world is perfect Rimuru has gone through some sadness and some things that maybe not went his way completely um so it's more of it's more of just for one make sure you're checking up on her at all times uh and to keep a lookout because I just I think this might have maybe not necessarily consequences but it's something you really definitely need to look out for um I I thought I was pretty sure Gabby Roo was gonna join uh he had nowhere else to go so that seemed the most obvious uh location uh, I thought another funny thing was um his sister becoming a a human from evolving and I'm telling you, the more I see how these guys evolve, we see, uh, like, I feel, I really feel it has has to have something to do with, like, Rimuru's, because I know other people can name people, right? But the way his, the way they transform just looked so much more like what Rimuru would want. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure on that computer that got fried back in his real life, there was probably people that looked like Xion, like all over that computer so it just i don't know just uh, to me i i feel like that might have something to do with it i think it's a good theory anyway um what do you guys think do you guys think the the naming thing has something to do like might have something to do with their the people that are naming it subconscious or what they would like uh them to look like maybe it, it goes from their uh, like their interests or what they see them as um but anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, these episodes are fun. We're over halfway through the series now. If you didn't know, we're going straight from season one to season two. Uh, I, uh, I'll i say in the intro next episode, too, but I'll quickly say that the OVAs I will do, I might do it in one episode. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a bulk reaction, or maybe I'll do it in two. Uh, I don't know how long the OVAs are. I haven't checked that. Um, if you guys would like to let me know, are the OVAs full length? Are these like shorter episodes? Cause it seemed like there was quite a few of them. Uh, you guys said like five or something like that. So I don't know if I do them separately. I gotta figure that out still, but we're gonna go from that. We're gonna do the OVAs and then season two. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you check all the notifications below, patreon.com slash AJRich123. Um, if you'd like to see the uncut reactions and early releases, helps the channel out, helps me out. I appreciate it. And you guys get a ton more content over there. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.